Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about SQL interview questions and this is the second video on that. So in our previous video, we have seen top five frequently asked questions and this is a continuation video to that. So without wasting much time, let us get started. And while I do so, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So the first question that is being frequently asked here is, write a query to find out odd and even number of records from a table. Very important question. So for that, I'm considering employee table as our base table and select star from EMP. So this is the data that we have in that. So we have a total 14 records. So to so segregate the data as odd and even records, we can achieve this in two ways. So either we can use mod modulus function, mod of uh, like uh, EMP number comma two is equal to zero. I can do that also, but since I'm doing, uh, I'm using this in a SQL server, I'm writing a row number function to generate uh, a row number here. So this is how I'm getting the data here. Select star from so row number over order number and I'm running this. So if you see this now, we got list of records with row number there. Now we got 14 numbers here. Now when I say even, I need this 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 like that. So what I'm doing is I'm simply writing select star comma this number okay and i am calling it as rn row number okay from employee table as a so i am using this simple calculation here where i am dividing the number and i am considering the whatever the remainder is there so if it is equal to zero suppose if it is there like say i am getting two by two which is equal to remainder is zero so in that case it is a even number so that way this calculates so when I run this, let us see what is the result. So we need even number, right? So right. now you see we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Like this. Now suppose if I need odd numbers, then simply we can write the same query. Okay. So here I am writing it as odd and simply this is not equal to zero so where i'm considering row number is not equal to zero like say three by two i'm doing okay so three divided by two so we are getting some some remainder right which is not equal to zero so that is the result we'll get from here one three five seven nine seven like that okay so this is how we can compute or find out odd and even records in a table okay very important interview question next is display the first record and the last record of a table again very important question but very simple one so either we can use limit function here or we can use top so depending on where you are writing the sql some you know uh, depends on that so here what i'm doing is select top one from emp table I'm ordering my employee number as ascending because I want the first, which means minimum first record. So when I do that, I'll get only one record. Whereas total, in total, we know that we have 14 records in this. Same way, if at all I want the last record, I'm ordering my employee number in descending way and I'm get, getting that. This is the last record. Okay, so this is how we can get first record and last record. Or the other way we can write is select star from EMP limit one. But this is not supported in SQL Server. That's why I'm not executing this, but in some uh, you know, workbench it, it works. So you can write that as well. Next is how do you copy all rows of a table using SQL query. Again, very important question here. In many interviews, we get this question, okay? So like we can also, I mean, they can also ask like, how do you create a table from a table or how do you copy? It can be 
you know multiple ways this question can be asked so first so i'm writing two types of syntax for us so that you can use whatever is easy for you first is create a table table name as a select star from emp so what i'm doing is first this query will get executed and it will take whatever the data is there and it will create a new table as emp underscore copy okay but again this is not supported in sql workbench so the other format i'm writing in sql server that is select star into will work here okay so before i do that let us just fire our normal query here so that i am doing it here on top just to show you the data select the star from emp and i'm running it now i want to copy this entire table or create a new table with entire data of this so how am i going to do that select star into emp underscore copy is my new table name and i'm copying it from employee so very simple it is when i run that a new table will be created with the name employee underscore copy execute you see 14 rows affected now when i run this query select star from emp underscore copy we are getting the table here with the data so this is table with the data you need to remember next is sometimes you know we might get a requirement like i want to copy only single column from an already existing table how will you do that so here we all know that star means everything so same star will work here but when we want only specific column we can write it this way create a table so first this one select i'm taking two columns here employee name and salary from this emp table okay so when i run this what will i get i'll get only these two columns so from this i am considering only this salary column okay so create table employee salary as copy so let us see how will we get so select the salary into employee salary i'm renaming from emp okay so simple i'm doing this now again new table will be created as employee underscore salary see again 14 rows impacted so when i run this select star from emp cell only one column will get see okay so two scenarios we have seen one getting the entire table with the data and getting only specific column from along with the data now suppose you don't want data you want only structure then how can we do simple it is again same create so the above command will only work create table your new table name as a select star from emp where we are giving one condition so here we are giving one false condition why so for every record it will check whether one is equal to two or not so one is equal to two is always false that's why your data will not get inserted inserted only the structure will get inserted okay so if I want to run it SQL, my SQL server, I can run this select star into EMP, empty copy is the new table name. And when I run that from EMP, let us see the result. So again, you see zero rows affected here. Why? Because no data was copied, but table is created. Now, when I run this, let us see the result. You see? we got table name but there is no structure here okay so three important questions we have seen here one copying the entire data copying the specific data or creating an empty structure next is how to get to four first to four letters from a string so for this again i'm considering our employee table here select the star from emp and uh, when i run this uh, now I'm what I'm doing is I'm considering only employee name here okay and I want the first to four letters so for that I'm considering or using a function called as a substring function very frequently used function in real time so in that I am considering e name okay so from e name I want to first to four letters so one comma four so one is my starting position 
and from that one position i need four letters that is what we are trying to tell here okay as and we can rename it as as first four now when i run this let us see what is the result we get you see we got first four letters and first four is the name of the column that we have okay so very important question in terms of uh, you know interview Next is how to get a list of employees in ascending order of department and descending order of salary. Okay, very tricky question, but very easy. So again, let us use our employee table. So I'm going to write select star from EMP to get the data, but should, okay, so we got, we forgot from here. So we got data. So to make it easier, I'm considering only the column that we need. I am using department number, comma, salary. Okay, and I'm running it from employee table. Now we need department number in ascending order. First, let us try to get that. So what am I doing? I'm considering this. I'll paste it here. Order by department number, ascending order. So first I'm sorting that in this department number with respect to ascending now you see the lower the number is it is the first department number. now observe the salary here so for department number we got 2450 now for each department i want a maximum salary to be on first so we should ideally get 5000 and 1300 that is how we should get here now how can i do that third step is okay i am writing it here Simply, we need to add another order by class, order by, what is this? So first it will sort with respect to department number and after sorting it, it will also sort by the second column that we are mentioning. Now I'm running this. Okay, so what did we miss here? Order by salary descending. I think uh, I have written this extra here, order by, which we don't need here. Now, when I run this, now you see, observe here, department number 10, 5,000, 24, 50, 1,300. Again, for department 20, 3,000, 3,000, So, it is sorting department number in ascending and salary in descending. So, like that, we can have multiple columns in order by clause as well. So that's it from my side in this video. I hope you like it. If you like it, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.